gang, 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 gang. Hey, let's go. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to go. Let's go get a pre-race interview with Kay Rainey, maybe. Should we go get an interview with Rainey here in a second? Give me a second. Hi, Jalen. What is up? Getting ready to go. Oh, uh, great. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? All right, we're going to go do a quick interview with Rainy, probably. Let's get it. Rainy, can you hear me? See if you can hear us, guys. I think Rainy's doing stuff or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's go interview any shotgun. See if we can get him. Can you hear a shotgun? Can you hear a shotgun? Hold on a second. I don't know if I can. Yep. All right, there it is. Now it's working. All right, well, uh, tonight you guys are going to Gateway. It's going to be possibly a crazy track, but I don't know. Uh, what do you think you have to do tonight to take this car to victory lane? Um, keep the nose clean. Um, we've practiced a lot this week, and I've been competitive, so I've, I've led a bunch of laps. I feel like I've got a good car for tonight, honestly. It's just putting our snows in the right place at the right time. Um, keeping it up front and keeping it out of, you know, the, the chaos that ensues mid-pack, all back, so... We'll, uh, we'll see what we got tonight. I feel, I feel confident. We're unfortunately missing Fry Dog and Tenacious, but we got Duramax and the, the 47 card tonight for us. So we'll, uh, we'll try to make do. Well, uh, you guys do have a big leaving points, and you guys won't have two good drivers tonight. But uh, 
overall, do you think tonight is going to have a lot of cautions with it being a tough track? Do you feel like there will be a lot of cautions tonight? You know, I really hope not. But the honest side of me says probably. Um, I don't. I don't really know. Um, I guess we'll just find out. Um, I, I hope not. All right. Well, uh, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe the strategy tonight could really be to just play it passive, go to the back early. But I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm planning to put my monster Chevy up front and keep it there. All right, well, we'll see. Uh, good luck tonight. Good luck to you, Duramax, and maybe we'll see a track house car in victory lane tonight. Hey, I'm just trying to figure out and and finish the best I can for the team, you know? It's a tough track. This track is pretty tough. It's yeah, awesome. I'm not very – but I'm, I'm going to do my best to keep off everybody and, and uh, hopefully finish top ten. All right, well, uh, good luck tonight. Good luck to both of you, and we'll see if one of you go to victory lane. Yep, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. See ya. All right, so it is Duramax and Eni Shotgun. So Fry Dog's not racing tonight. Let's see if we can get Rainy now. Hello, Rainy. He knows I'm in here. He knows I'm in there. He's just not wanting to talk, apparently. I don't know. Oh, well. Maybe he wants to wait till post-race. All right, so. Take the headset off for a little bit and uh, get ready for the race. Um, hopefully it's some good action tonight. Track house missing two guys tonight, so that's big. Very big. Missing two drivers could be big. I'm going to try to do something really quick while we have time. Oh man. All right. If you guys are just tuning in, we're getting ready to go green here soon. They're going to qualify and we're going to get into the race. I don't have any word on if they're doing the 100% or the 50%. I think they're doing 50%, but I could be wrong. Hopefully, we got somebody streaming tonight. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get worked up. All right, um, I'm getting something made really quick, guys. What's a Duramax username? So I think we're getting ready to qualify, hopefully. Uh, let's see here. Who do you guys think is going to win the race tonight? I'm going to go with K. Rainey to win it tonight. 
But I do look out for Shotgun, too, I believe. I believe it'll be one of those two, but I'm going to go with K. Rainey to win it tonight. So I wonder who's driving the 48, 47 tonight. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get something made really quick. My car would jerk Dermax. to the right. Dermax, what? what car are you driving tonight? What? What car number are you driving? 47. All right, thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, 47 car. I think I already have that. Do I? It's usually Fry Dog's car, so I don't. I think there's only gonna be two drivers tonight for that team, so that's big. Maybe I don't have the 47 downloaded. I got the 37. No 47. Got it. All right. So, oops. This don't look bad. All right, sorry about that, guys. I was making something. So, we're back. Back in action now. Talking. All right. So, we're going. I, I need to ask Deeds a question now. Hold on. She's in the Discord. I'll ask him. Is it a 50% or a 100%? 50. Okay. How long will that be? Like 45 minutes? 100 laps. It'll be about an hour. All right. So, 50%. Let's 
get to it. Getting to it tonight. Here we go. You guys like the new hat? Y'all digging the new hat? Look at that. Got the. Oh, wow. Oh, it's inverted. It's inverted. My bad. Got the American flag MLB logo. And then Patriotic Padres. Let's go. San Diego Padres, baby. Repping the squad right there. It's pretty dark outside. Hold on a second, chat. I'm back. Alright, so who do you guys think takes home tonight? I want to hear predictions in the chat. Guys, I know there's not a new booth tonight. I forgot earlier today to set it up. That's on me. I forgot about it. When I was I have it written down in my notes too and I just forgot to do it. Today. I've been lazy this week, not gonna lie. So, all right, getting ready to go soon. Oh, I wonder if anybody is going to stream tonight. Well, why don't we go check out some of the drivers right now? Hold on. Ribs? I, I hope Ribs wins tonight, Joker. Good pick right there, maybe. We'll see. That could be a good pick. Sleeper pick right there. But I would love to see a Ribs win. We got close last night, honestly. Take a look in on the drivers that are getting ready right now. Check out the Gibbs guys them getting prepared ribs with two cameras tonight oh my gosh he's got the bling on too look at ribs bling iced out with the chain right now see what he can do tonight then we got the Stuart Haas guys over I just here. heard that crew chief said check the engine light getting ready <laughs> <laughs> Got two guys in here getting a drink, Rainy. Waiting for this qualifying to start. Nice, nice Joker. I want to try eye racing. I've never had done it, but I think it'd be pretty cool. But uh, that's Stuart Haas guys qualifying right now, I believe, actually. So, we have some Stuart Haas guys then. Let's go find. Over here, you'll find the Childress guys getting ready. Let's 
get some Childress guys up. Qualifying right now. Nervous wearing the hat tonight. So that's the rest of Childress guys. Then we got our trap house the key boys over here with the microphones getting ready. Let's go ahead and mute them out. I gotcha. Getting ready over here. Qualifying. Tough track. It's going to be interesting tonight. Hopefully there's not a lot of cautions, but we might see a lot of cautions tonight. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, should make some good racing tonight. Uh, it's going to be interesting. What's up, Tanner? Are you not able to race again tonight? I don't think... Oh, you weren't able to make it last week, too. Isn't it like the first two weeks you can't make it for something? See you back on the track soon, and maybe you'll get a win when you come back. Maybe Tanner comes back and just gets a win because he has fresh legs from the last two weeks. Got an extra offseason and comes in and wins next week. We'll see. You never know. Dude, my freaking neighbors are weird. Guys, my neighbors are being weird on my window. Hold on. And that's why I don't like to open my windows during streams, guys. Because my window wasn't open, but the curtain was over. Like, was undone. And so, if my window would have been open, they would have said some really stupid stuff that I could probably get banned for on stream because of them. So that's why I don't open my window during streams. It's kind of annoying whenever I'm trying to stream and then they just come knock on my window and try to call me. I'm kind of mad about that. But it is what it is. Sorry about that. Uh, so, getting ready to race here. Let me make sure my game is up actually. Got the game ready. All right. So now we're just waiting for them to start. See if anybody's streaming tonight. Do we change the colors or keep them? Keep them at white. Put on fade. We're gonna keep it at white tonight. Going with the white kind of vibe. Why does the hat look a little bit bent? I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's fine. It's all good. So. I need to check the stream. Everything sounds good, right, guys? Duramax and Closing and Ribs are all streaming tonight, so thank you to them for that. We need some streamers tonight, so. Last night was a little tougher. They just got on with qualifying. We're going to see who gets the pull. I'm going to say it was ENA Shotgun. I'm going to say it was Shotgun, but uh, look out for Randy this race as well. I got Rainey winning it. Shock, and I feel like has a good shot at it too, but I got Rainey taking it home. But we're going to see. We will see. Uh, getting ready here. It's about to be race time. It's almost out of time. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Guns and Cotton. Guys, actually, we're up to 200 followers now. Guns and Cotton was my 200 follower, so thank you for that. Cotton and uh, 200 followers now, guys. Let's go. Thank you guys for all the support. And uh, we'll see what Ribs can do tonight. 
Did I just hear something right? Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Was there a tie for lead for pull? Ribs, can you send me the finishing, the qualifying positions? Or no, he, can, are you able to? I don't know if he can because he's got his phones both. Wait, Ribs, on your stream, just move up and down. I'm on your stream right now. So let's see here. Thank you. So we got, they tied for the pull. They tied for the pull. Wow. So your pull winner is shotgun, but Rainy tied him. Did, did they tie for the pull? Rainy and Shadi tied for the pull. Rainy got it by uh, somewhere behind, beyond a thousandth of a second. So That's funny because... um. I said that I think Shotgun wins the pool, and then Rainey's going to win the race, but I feel like it'll be him or Shotgun to win it tonight. So, I don't Copy, know. That. Copy that. Good luck tonight, Greed. That's pretty funny. Shotgun and Rainey tied. Both had a 325, a 32.325. So, this will be interesting. It's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Could have at least said, hi, bro, I'm trying to do a stream right now, so. I saw somebody calling me and I did not expect, I didn't know why somebody was calling me, but somebody was. And I, it, like, it didn't tell me who was calling me and then I just look over at my window. All right, so we're getting ready to go. Uh, I don't know where Ribs qualified at. I should have checked that actually. I'm gonna check that right now. Check that box off right now. Ribs qualified. All right, so we got first place Rainy, second place Shotgun, third place Asylums, fourth place is Closing Soon, and rounding out the top five is Gavin. Uh, ribs ended up qualifying. I don't know. Not sure. All right, see ya. There we go. Ribs qualified sixth. No, no, that's dirty deeds. Never mind. Ribs qualified seventh. Deeds qualified sixth. So it's race time, I believe. So, without further ado, we're going to send it down to the intro. Good luck to all the drivers tonight. We'll see you at the track. The season is past us. We had tempers. Racing me like a... Yeah, I have my bad. Yes, I am. We had excitement. Constant trying to get to Rainy as they come out of four. Fifth on the outside is going to get to Rainy's door. It's going to be finished of the year. Oh my gosh, who won it? Who won it? Fifth constant, I think, brings it home. We had disappointment. Oops. We had happiness. The 11 is always going to be at the front, so you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> just going to have to make do. Because I'm And we had a champion. Coming out of turn four. It's not over yet. Yes. On to the straightaway. Fifth Caustin is your season five champion. The 11 car yes. takes it to victory lane. Now it's the start of a new season. So will 5th Constant protect his championship this season, or will there be a new champion crowned in it to win it? There has been three extra drivers added to the field this season. There are two extra teams added this season. Meaning the 
competition is going to rise. So drivers, be ready to race the hardest you've ever raced. And I have a question, drivers. Are you in it to win it? Well, I guess we're going to find out this season. Season 6 starts here. Everybody and welcome to the Intertwin Racing Series Week 2 race tonight at Gateway. It's going to be an exciting race, probably a lot of contact, but without further ado, let's get underway. This race has already started, uh, so probably going to be a lot of racing tonight, a lot of good racing. Uh, somebody tell me if the audio cut off now for my intro song right there, make sure it cut off. As we got... K. Rainey and Shotgun battling for the lead right now. Oh, Shotgun hard in the wall. Oh, Shotgun with bad damage. Earlier in the race, before the race, he said, the goal of tonight, try to keep the nose clean. He wanted to keep the nose clean, have a chance at this thing. And early, that's going to hurt him big time. Let's, uh, damage. He's got a bad damage on the front end right there. You can see the right, right side of the hood right there. Let's take a look at what happened right there. I'm not really sure. I don't know if him and Rainey got together. Let's look at it. Uh, he goes in the corner here. And coming out of the turn, looks like he just got the wall. Rainey was nowhere near him. He just got really tight there and got the wall. So not a good start for Yenny Shotgun, but uh, we'll see if he can recover from that right there. Let's try to see if we can get it on his radio about what just happened. Uh, no, we can't. He don't have it muted. Or he hasn't muted, I mean. Unfortunate right there. Uh, we're going to get going green here. Fifth Constant's going to be your leader. He decided to stay out. That could be a good move by Fifth Constant. Last year's champion. Green flag comes back out here. Fifth Constant on the inside. He's got that shifter advantage on Rainey, and he's going to use it and take the lead. But look at Asylum's battling on the inside right there. He races on controller. So two controller guys in the top three right now. Rainey and Asylum's. As they go down the back straightaway, car in the wall towards the back right there. I'm not sure who that was, but uh, it might have been toasted. I'm not sure. Might have been shocking as well. I really don't know who that was, but they made some hard contact with the wall back there. K. Rainey back to third place right now. Ian A. Shocking trying to make his way back up the pack after that early wreck right in front of the 34 car right now. So they're uh, for track house. They're missing Fry Dog tonight. They're also missing Tenacious tonight. Uh, Duramax is going to be racing for Fry Dog tonight, but they don't got a third driver, so it's going to hurt them in points big time. They actually only had eight points last week, so if they could have had three drivers this week, they could be consistently doing good with points, but unfortunately they don't. Asylum's going for the lead on fifth constant right now. Controller power on the bottom versus wheel on the top. As they enter it off and it turns one and two, fifth constant holding that lead right now. I picked Rainey as my winner tonight, but you know, Fifth Constant's good at every track. He's got a really good shot at it as well. A lot of these guys are, like, good at every track. You know, I'm expecting to see Asylums be good tonight. Uh, Gavin, probably, probably going to have some skill tonight. Uh, we'll see what happens. He's with a gridlock right now. Trying to make his way through the pack. We're not about mid-pack right now. Early in the race, honestly. Right now, the strategy could be sit in the back, you know, try to avoid contact early because they do have damage on. But I don't know. I mean, gridlock where he's at right now, no one too close to him. He... He's not in too much of a dangerous spot, but that could change quick as he's got some traffic right in front of him right now. The 34 car right there. And then Dirty D's in that 14 car. The 34 car is that Gavin, I believe. I have to remember that. I think I was forgetting that last week, too. I believe we got Gavin in the 34. Toasted driving that 38 again while um, Annihilator is out. So we're looking at Gridlock trying to get below D's right there. They were always teammates in it to win it when both of them raced. And then. This year, they both decided to part ways from Gibbs. Uh, Gridlock decided to go take over Richard Childress, and Deeds decided to go race for Stuart Haas, and now Gridlock trying to pass Deeds. This is one of the things they wanted to do, you know? They wanted to race each other comp competitively, not being on the same team. They wanted to have fun racing each other 
and having some competition being on different teams and that's what they're getting right now is they're side by side through turns three and four we need to recognize this a little bit because these are two guys that are, i know gridlock's one of the race d's like this and these might be the same you know and gridlock's going to get the best of them there and pass them so gridlock's going to take that spot from deeds as they enter turns one and two good job by gridlock to make the clean pass right there we got fry dog is racing tonight so I said Friedog wasn't racing tonight. I apologize. Friedog is racing tonight in that 37 car. I thought Fry drove the 47 car. I'm not going to lie. Now I'm confused because I thought Fry was 47 and Tenacious was the 37. Friedog was definitely the 30, 47 last week, right? I don't know, guys. I could be messing up right now. But Tenacious isn't there. So Dermax is taking over for Tenacious tonight in that 47. Friedog is there driving the for the 37 Chevy machine. Austin Dillon closing in on Frydog. Frydog won the race last week. Uh, trying to bring a win streak over here to this week. See what he can do. We're still early in the race, but some good racing right now. You know, I was expecting a lot of caution tonight. Caution fest. So far, I'm being proven wrong, which is a great thing. These guys are racing great. This is a really tough track, but they're racing it really good. We had an early caution whenever Shotgun got the wall, but uh, it's changing, you know. These guys are racing good, racing clean. Love to see it. So you got Toasty Gamer, the 19 car right now, going at it. Toasty Gamer gets the wall. Toasty Gamer, the 16-year-old out of Alabama, running in that 38 car for Annihilator tonight. Annihilator will be back next week. Uh, but for right now, it's going to be Toasty Gamer's car, and I think he did pretty good last week. He was all over the field last week, up towards the front at points, though, and he... I think he had a pretty good race last week overall. Not sure where he finished. Looks like he's got some front end damage here. Maybe not. To me, it looks like it, but I could be wrong. We got NASCAR fan actually racing tonight. So NASCAR fan getting the chance tonight in the 19 car. I can't remember who raced that car last week. I don't even remember. I just know somebody else was in it last week. I thought NASCAR fan was a backup driver. Tanner said, thank you, Toasted, for the fill in tonight. Yep. Mr. Toasted. Toasted. Has that car in good hands for you, Tanner. Don't worry. You put what on the driver cars today? You got closing soon. We haven't seen him a lot tonight, but he's running third place right now. Look at Shotgun getting back up there right now. Yeah, because I thought Fry Dog is the 47, so I was right. He's not running the 47 tonight for some reason. So I was right. I wasn't being confused. Or I was I was being confused, but like I was right. Closing soon, interesting. Going with the Halloween paint scheme tonight. It's the middle of the it's middle of July, but he wants the Halloween style tonight as he's gonna get really loose right there. K Randy gonna make the easy pass on him. Ribs running that 18. I'd like to see Ribs get up there and get maybe get a win tonight. That'd be awesome. Don't know if it'll happen, but maybe. You know, this might be a tough track, but there's still a lot of, of drivers here tonight that is really good at this track. And 5th Constant so far doing really good. You know, actually, I battled with 5th fifth, fifth Constant here in the What's Next series. First week of that, uh, I actually had a battle with 5th Constant here, but that was because he kept lifting for me because he was bored. Like he said he wanted some TV time, so he got back there with me and started battling me. It was fun, though. It was fun to battle him. He's your leader right now here at Gateway. We were battling at this track. We also battled at Darlington. I passed him at Darlington and beat him, but he kept letting up for me and battling me here as Toast. It's going to get the wall a little bit. Gridlock really loose right there on the bottom. Great save by Gridlock, and he's going to lose a position from it, though. Uh, Duramax is driving the 47 as a backup tonight. For some reason, uh, he's driving the 47, and Friedel's driving the 37. Don't know why, but that's just what they decided to do tonight for some reason. All right, so while we have some time right now, let's go find someone to ride along with. See if there's any action. Nope, caution's out. I'll try with somebody on this restart. Let's take a ride along with Gridlock on this restart. See what he's got going on. I believe he bought a shifter, so let's take a look at Gridlock on this restart. He's got the shifter in the camera, too, so let me fix it really quick. My bad. Always have to change this. They're getting ready to go green again here. There we 
go. Gonna restart, reset the pack here and get back at it. Check out that shifter on Gridlock's view, guys. He's newer to using the shifter, but I think he's still I think he's got it. We'll see. We're about to see. If we can find Gridlock, there he is. So we get ready to go green here. There he goes, shifting it. Nice. Pretty cool. Alright, so Gridlock running below D's right now, so we can see good to see these two going at it again. As they're side by side down the back straightaway here. D's gonna get below Gridlock and make the pass or get past him. I don't know if he was making a pass or I wanna say making a pass, but Gridlock almost gets into D's. Great job there by Gridlock to hit the break. That was really close. That's a close call. Great job to hit the break right there. Some good driving. He was supposed to drive for Fry if his girls win the second game and had to play another. He must have got home just in time to jump in for Tenacious. Okay, I got you. All right, well, that's Gridlock we're riding along with right there. Got to see him on the restart. Him and Deed's about to go back at it as they're side by side. These two side by side in the turns three and four. Deed slowed it down a lot. Gridlock's going to make an easy pass on him, but we'll see what kind of run Deeds can get right here. Gridlock with a good pass there. First game, okay. So Gridlock making his way, trying to make his way through the pack right now. Pass Deeds, see if he can get up to 34 car right here. With Gavin. We got Duramax running the 47 right now. Sorry about that, I'm back. Dirty Max just running in line right now behind Dirty Deeds at the moment. Got Nervous Wreck back here going at it with ribs. These two going at it a little further back from the field, but see if they can get back up there. Maybe work, maybe work together a little bit. Don't know how much that'll help with this track, but look at that. We got a new leader up there, Asylums. He might have had to leave for a little bit, but we're just now noticing him, so. Fifth constant. And Asylum's going at it for the lead. And they got Rainy and Shotgun right behind them. Toasty Gamer back here running mid-pack. In front of his teammate Gavin, NASCAR fan. Right behind closing soon right now. See, across the start finish line. K Rainey right here behind shotgun. Trying to get position to pass him. Or maybe he's just running the line. I feel like he's just chilling right now, vibing. See if we can get the radio chatter from uh Richard Childress, guys. Not much going on on the radio right now. Seventy four laps to go. Shotgun and Fitz side by side right now. Let's see if we're getting radio action from these track house guys. Looking at uh, Dermax throttle right now. Try to look at that. I know that Dermax is using a lot of brake right now. I'm not sure how many of these guys are doing that. Dermax is using a lot of brake. That might chew his right rears up a lot. Or it's not his right rears. His rear tires up a lot. I'm going to compare him to Closing Soon here. See if I can hear Closing Soon dragging the brake at all.
Like closing soon is also dragging the brake a little bit. Fifth constant up there, almost, almost wrecked it. Fifth almost wrecked it up there. Let's try to get see that. Not a lot of radio action right now. Alright guys, so right now we have the chance. We're actually gonna send it over to a quick commercial break, so it'll be side by side though, so we'll be right back after this commercial break. Back in the day, uh, NASCAR in two days. There didn't used to be 50 of that. Uh, I mean, it was pretty much there was a handful. You were either in or you were out. Uh, and almost every one of them wound up being solved because of uh, jealousy, anger, and hostility. send it to a crank it up now so you guys are going to get to hear it cranked up and we're going to get some radio chatter Hey, hey, how about that? How about that? <laughs> Guys, Tosh and I has come out. So, all right, guys. So, caution is out, and uh, bro, sorry about that, my neighbors. They're literally like harassing me right now. Anyways. Uh, cautions out there. I don't know what for, but I know uh, Nervous said something about how about that. Must he must have wanted the caution or something there. Uh, gonna have about 60 to go, maybe, maybe a little more than that. I'm not sure, but Asylums is your leader. Asylums is your leader with. Uh, let me get a lot count really quick. Sorry about that. I'm a little thrown off now. Maybe not thrown off, but I, I don't really know. A little quieter, but anyways, 
Asylum's in fifth constant going at it right now. You guys can hear me, right? Anyways, Asylum seems a your leader right now. Fifth constant right behind him. Fifth had some contact earlier, and uh, he's still running up there second place with Shotgun on his outside. K. Rainey's been up there top five all night, and just, I mean, some of these guys have, but Rainey hasn't really been a winning car tonight so far, but a top five car tonight. We'll see if he can get that thing tuned out to be a winning car. We've got 61 laps to go. So 61 to go in this thing. Asylum's your leader. He's had a good race tonight so far. It's time to ride along with somebody, I think. Let's find somebody to ride along with. Should we go with... Let's go with... Uh, let's go with... Fifth Constant, second place car right now. Our champion of last year. Let's find Fifth Constant on the track. See if we can find fifth. Oh, somebody's lagged out. Gridlock. Did grid lag out? Gridlock must have lagged out. That's not good. There's fifth constant. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Neighbors were doing like illegal stuff to my house, and I'm trying to get it sorted out. I need to put like no trespassing signs up or something. It's pretty pathetic. I think it's pretty ridiculous how we'd have to do that. But anyways, your leader is Asylum. Second place, E A Shotgun. We were still riding along with Fifth Constant there, so he had a little bit of an extra ride along there. Got a little extra time to ride along with. Oh, contact there between closing soon and the 38 car. Little contact there. So, uh, 14 car up here. My bad, guys. Anyways, gridlock like that. I want to see if I can get gridlock in the booth with us. See if we can get him to join the booth with us. Oh, Dermax and Deeds going at it. Deeds gets into Dermax a couple times right there. A little bit of contact. It's right along with Dermax. This battle goes down. Okay, 
right now with Dermax. And Deeds going at it right now. So Duramax is, I'm not sure if he's running right now, but uh, Duramax is driving the 47 tonight for, technically he's driving it for Frydog, and Frydog is driving the 37 for Tenacious, but Frydog's in the race tonight. So, it's a little bit weird. So we'll say he's driving for Tenacious tonight, but he's kind of driving Frydog's car, so I don't really know. Because right now he is... Running right behind Deeds, gets the wall a little bit hard on the wall. A little bit of contact there. He must have somebody unmuted in this Discord chat. I think Frydog didn't mute him. But that's Duramax right now. Running towards the back, right behind Austin Dillon now. They're battling. <coughs> oh man, close to that wall right there. Ooh. Oh, awesome moving the flow right there. Alright, so that's very much what we're riding with right there. Very much in a 37 machine. 47 machine tonight, my bad. Fried dog driving the 37 tonight. And look, oh, fifth constant falling back big time here. Oh, fifth constant gets really loose. Almost wrecked it. Have we, have we rode along with 5th Constant tonight, guys? Yeah, we did. We had a long, extended ride along with him. We were trying to handle stuff. So 5th Constant riding behind. He and he's shotgun right now. Right now, he just ran. He fell back a little bit. I don't know how. But NASCAR fan up there to second place with K. Rainey right behind him. This could get interesting right here with NASCAR fan being up there in the top three. You know, the backup driver this week. It could be interesting to see. Maybe he comes in his first race and wins it. Or can Asylum get his first win to win it? Win or will it be K. Rainey? I don't know. There's so many things that could happen right now this point in the race we haven't seen a green flag pit stop tonight i'm sure these guys are fine with that because uh pit stops here could be tough you have to get onto that commitment road the road right there commitment road on and then the commitment road off so it's pretty tough i want to see them make green flag stops i want to see it i would love to see it forty six laps remaining here so we're going to see what happens, but uh, we're in a green flag stretch right now. We'll see if they can get to the pit stops there. About eight laps away, or six to eight laps away from the green flag pit stops. So while we're waiting to see if they decide to go on a green flag pit stops, let's go right along Howdy with... There. Uh, Hello. Right along with K. Rainey, I don't know. Like they're trying to push NASCAR fan around. Let's take a ride along with him. the helmet guy runs the helmets in these races he did have the visor on earlier but he opened it up and he was season four MVP of in it to win it he uh, he's yet to win a championship I uh, he's tried and tried but I, um, being one of the best in it to win it racers and still has won a championship it's kind of surprising one of the greatest in it to win it racers of all time if not the greatest, yet to win a championship. Trying to do that this season with a lot more competition. 
Uh, he's got new, a new teammate this season, Dirty Deeds. Uh, Austin Dillon stayed on the train. And see if he can get his first win this season here. It's a good track for him to do it at. But Asylums looks really fast up there, so Rainy might have to tune this thing out or something here at the end of the race. We'll see. I, mean, I don't know if he's stuck behind NASCAR fan right now or if he just uh, trying to stay behind him. I'm not sure. We're going to be seeing some pit stops soon. Then NASCAR fan gets really slow right there. Rainy making the pass side by side down the back straightaway. NASCAR fan might have got a little bit tight right there as they enter turns three. Rainy, they make a little bit of contact. Up the track goes Rainy. He's going to make the pass on NASCAR fans. Okay, Rainy, your second place car. Could he catch Asylums now? They're getting towards the end of this run. They're going to have to pit soon. I'm excited to see it. Thanks for tuning in, Delta. Uh, the race is good so far. It's been, there's been some good action. Uh, under 50 laps to go, about 40 laps to go right now. Maybe a little over 40 laps to go. Asylums leading the race right now. He's led a good amount of it. And Rainy's starting to lurk. He's been in the top five all night. Actually got the pull. He's starting to lurk. I would love to see some green flag pit stops here, but that's K Rainey that we ran along with right there. So, see what happens on these green flag stops. See who we get coming into pit road. Uh, it's a it's a league race. This is week two of the season, so we're just getting underway with the season. Second week. Front row motorsports really needs a good week to really needs a good race. You know, I uh, they um. I think we did already have some guys pit, I believe. Closing soon came on to pit road. Uh, front row does need a good week, though. They're sitting, I believe, fourth in points right now. Well, Gibbs is last. And uh, there's a front row card leading right now. You got Gavin and um, Toasted up here also trying to do good for front row as old Toasted gets into fifth constant right there. A little bit of contact. And these two guys both running black and red cars tonight side by side in turns one and two. Make sure you guys join that Discord if you want more information on the league and if you want to try to find a league. You can join that Discord and might be able to find a league for Xbox. Dirty D's on pit road right now. I want to see somebody enter pit road. I do want to see that. Got some other guys going on pit road. Also the Facebook right there. You can check that out. Excuse me. You can check that out to a... Oh, wow. NASCAR fan just didn't want... Okay, I, I don't know if that's a penalty. Hold on a second. I'm going to clip that. Whoa. Yo! Cast what? Right. You get it on tape? I'll watch it back. I'll watch it. Sorry about that. NASCAR fan. Did not use a commitment or I don't know if that's going to be a penalty. So I was talking to him, asking him if that's a penalty or not. He said he'd watch it back on tape. You guys could hear there. That could that could be big because, you know, he. I'm going to look at that again. That's a lot less time it's going to take for his pit stop compared to everybody else. I don't know. He, he probably didn't know you're supposed to use a commitment road, but he should have figured that seeing everybody else. But uh, you can see here, see if I was correct. Yeah, he just completely cut off the track into pit road. It's pretty obvious right there. And, oh, it caused some damage for 5th Constant as well. That's going to hurt 5th Constant big time. And that's two teammates, so that's going to be big. 5th Constant probably not happy about that. It's two teammates, and 5th had to sit on pit road for some extended time for damage right there. As you can see, Asylum's coming off pit road right now. K. Rennie actually made the pass on him. And K. Rennie, I believe, might be your new leader, unless he didn't pit already. Maybe he didn't pit. I'm not sure. But you got... 37 to Fry Dog coming on to pit road right now. He's got some front end damage right there. We'll see if he decides to repair that here on a green flag stop. Repairing on a green flag stop could be a little dangerous. My bad, he's coming off of pit road, so I wonder if he repaired that damage or not. I'm not really sure. But he's running right in front of Rebel Boy right now. Yep. The bombshell said that one for the lead on his Twitch and it's when the game productions. Fifth constant side by side right now with Gavin in that 34 car. Look at me, guys. I'm making an improvement now. I'm remembering Gavin's name. I'm remembering what car he's driving. It's Gavin, I think I believe it's Gavin Hudspeth right there in that 34 car. We got Toasty Gamer right here. 
Oh my goodness, he almost hit the wall. Wow, NASCAR fan out there just still driving. Good spot. We got K. Rainey, your leader. K. Rainey driving in the lead right now with the 47 car of Duramax right behind. I'm not sure if that's for if that's second place or what, but. All right, well, uh, I think we can go ride with Nervous Wreck right now. Let's find Nervous Wreck and go take a ride with him. He lost his boy uh, Gridlock in that, in there, but uh, it's all good. So it's his lone self in this chat now, but it's all good. He's still up here racing right now, trying to battle the closing soon. Not sure if he's on the lead lap or not, but uh, he is battling the closing soon. He's fifth place, but I'm not positive. As he's right in front of NASCAR fan right now who cut the pit road earlier. I wonder if he got a penalty actually, like on the pit road. I don't think he did, but NASCAR fan makes a quick pass on him there. So nervous wreck just running, running along right now, gets the wall a little bit right there. Be awesome to see a nervous wreck win. 33 laps to go in this thing, so we're getting towards the wire. We've had some good race in this race. We've had a little bit of controversy, not too much, but a little bit of controversy. We had me having to meet my mic and stuff for a little bit for things. Uh, we had an early wreck. We've had some damage. What we haven't had is an exciting finish, so we'll see if we get that exciting finish. Haven't been able to have that yet, you know. We've had, we've had some good racing tonight, some clean racing. Uh, more than what I expected. Oh, uh, we play Xbox One. Fry Dog, fifth constant. If you're just tuning in, guys, we're getting down to about 30 laps to go in this thing. So we're getting towards the wire. Uh, the leader right now, I believe, is K. Rainey. My prediction to win it tonight is, was K. Rainey, and that's who's winning it right now. But we'll see. Uh, 30 laps to go about. I'm going to go ahead and get my one to watch tonight. I have K. Rainey winning this thing, but my one to watch, I'm going to go with Asylums. As caution's out, I think that's for ribs spinning. I'm not sure, though, but I'm going to go with Asylums to win this thing tonight. I saw ribs in front of him, so I'm not sure. But or, I'm, I take that back. I said I'm going to go with K. Rainey to win this thing tonight earlier, so I'm going to go with Asylums as my one to watch. Because Asylums had a fast card tonight. You just had to switch since your little brother wouldn't let me play. You play? Oh, that sucks. You might be able to find a PlayStation League. I'm not sure if you would be able to in the Discord, but you could try. We need to get to the Discord expanded to where this PlayStation League's getting in there, but I don't know. So K. Rainey, uh... He um, is your leader on this caution. Asylum second, and Asylum's going to be my one to watch. K. Rainey with my race winner prediction earlier, so. See if Rainey can take it home. See if Rainey can take it home here as we're going to ready to go green here. Green flag coming back out. K. Rainey, your leader. Look out for Ian e. Shock. I'm running fourth as well. Qualified second. Had the same lap as Rainey. Oh, Asylum's and Rainey make close contact right there. K. Rainey going to take the lead, though. Out of two. See if Asylums has anything for him here. Asylums looking inside. Asylums going to be inside here. We'll see what he can do in this turn as they go into turns three and four right here. K. Rainey on the outside. Asylums on the inside looking for it. NASCAR fan trying to take a three wide. Asylums your new leader. They're three wide for second place right now as they exit turn four. K. Rainey falls back. Gets the wall hard. Fifth constant. Rainey. Hard contact. Rainey goes around. Big wreck at Gateway. Caution's out. Austin Dillon sitting there on the pit road wall. Hard wreck. And we're going to have a late restart. Unfortunate for Rainey right there to have that happen. I'm sure Rainey's not happy. Okay, Rainey right now. We'll try to look at him. Take a look at Rainey right now. Man, what just unfolded? 
take a look back at that again and see if we can dissect what just happened. As they're coming out of turn four here, NASCAR fan forces it up in the three wide here. Randy's going to fall back behind NASCAR fan. NASCAR fan takes the position. I think, I don't know if NASCAR fan wasn't clear or if Randy just got tight. You can't really tell from that angle, but it caused Randy to get down into the 11 cars. They're getting ready to go green here. So Randy falls back big time. Austin Dillon also got collected in that, just being the innocent guy there. Because we're going to get ready for a green flag here. Leader is Asylums, I believe. No, it's Fifth Constant. Fifth Constant decided not to pit. And he's your leader. Or I don't think he pitted. I'm not sure. I joined the Discord. I could try to promote PlayStation. That'd be good. We would like that, actually. As fifth constant with a good lead now. We're going to try to go right along with somebody else because we're a little bit behind. Nice. Let's go find Shotgun. I haven't got to ride along with everybody tonight, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to. There's some crazy action going on though. Let's get Shotgun's driver cam. Let's find Shotgun on the track right now. As they get towards the end of this thing. Caution's out. So we're going to stay with Shotgun on this restart. As we get a late caution here. No pressure for Shotgun. No pressure for Shotgun. So he gets ready for a big restart here. See what he can do. Who do you guys got winning this thing? Who do you guys got winning? The one car, 32 car. The 11 car, who is it going to be here? Shotgun, Asylums, K. Rainey. Fifth constant. I mean, Rainey fell back, but he, could, he might be able to get back up there. We're going to have uh, about probably 20 to go on this restart. Let's ride along with Shotgun a little bit longer here. I apologize if I didn't get to ride with you guys tonight. I didn't get to ride with everybody tonight. I might not be able to, but green flag coming back out here. Eni Shotgun running third place right now. Fifth constant, your leader, Asylum. Second place, 20 laps to go. Uh, K. Rainey's playing as Kevin Harvick. He's the one racing as the four car. He, he wrecked earlier, but uh, he, might, he might still have a shot at it as NASCAR fan going on the outside here. Shotgun, you guys may have known about that Saturday night shootout where NASCAR fan just dove it in there and tried to beat Shotgun, ended up letting off after he realized he made a mistake there and uh, let somebody else win the race, but it cost the Shotgun the race. Shotgun doesn't really probably care that much anymore because it was just a Saturday night shootout. I don't think Shotgun will do anything to him tonight, but you know, uh, maybe that's in Shotgun's head about what to not do in this position, maybe. I'm not sure. As they exit two, Shotgun falls back to fourth place. It's a little bit like, uh, I messed up. Maybe. All right, so... Andy is shotgun running fourth place right now. We got a battle for lead. Asylums and fifth constant going at it as they exit turn four. They're beating doors. Shock or fifth constant up in the wall. Fifth constant's gonna go around. Hard wreck. Fifth constant collects a lot of cars and a big wreck. Hard wreck there for fifth constant in the 11 car. He was just running first place. Unbelievable. Let's try to take a look at him. Probably not too happy after that right there. Alright, well. Getting down to the end of this thing, guys. Where's K. Rainey at now? Rainey getting back up there in that four car. Let's find him. There he is. Towards the middle of the pack now. Or maybe a little towards the back still. So not getting up there too much, but... Oh, look at Deeds up here in third, fourth. Deeds, third place, just has a way to find himself up there. Austin Dillon, your leader. Green flag back out here. We had some guys that stayed out. Nervous wreck, second place. As they enter off into turns one and two. We got two underdogs in the front row. Nervous gets up in the wall right there. It's a tough track. He got too tight. Maybe too excited as they come out of turn two. Austin Dillon, your leader. Nervous wreck, second place on the outside right there. What's Nervous wreck going to try right here? Not going to make a move yet. He's going to look outside. Austin Dillon, your leader. Will there be another caution? I think so. They're beating doors back there. They're getting three wide as they exit off a of turn four. We're going to cross the finish line. It's going to be about 15 to go here, I believe. 
But I'll double check that really quick. Is there racing amazing right now? Crazy racing right now. Nervous wreck. There's 14 to go. Nervous wreck right in second with these on his outside pressuring him. You do not have to use a wheel. Some of these guys use controller. Shotgun making the pass for second place. Watch out for Shotgun if you're Austin Dillon. He's had a really fast car tonight. And look at Asylum's getting back up there. Asylum's going to make the pass on Nervous Wreck. Might have used his door as a wall a little bit. But watch out for these two to go pressure Austin Dillon big time. They've been the fast cars tonight. They also got fresh tires. Four fresh Goodyears. That could be a big difference. As Gavin is around. Fifth constant around. That's going to bring out a caution. And another wreck. Another caution coming out. Yeah, some of these guys run controller. Some of these guys run control or wheel. Some of these guys run wheel and shifter. Austin Dillon, your leader. He's gonna. I think he's got a pit here. I feel like you got a pit here. I don't know. A wheel is more fun. All right, guys. Who do you got winning this thing late? I said earlier, my one to watch is gonna be Asylums. And late in this race, he's up there. I mean, K. Rainey was my race prediction winner. He's. We'll see if he can get back up there. Still trying to recover. Man, I just don't think Austin Dillon could do it. They got fresher tires than him. And they've had the fastest cars tonight. I don't think Austin Dillon can pull it out here. Uh, there's, their fresh tires are going to eat him up here probably on the restart. It's going to eat him up if he stays in that front row. But, and he is. He's got shock on his outside. Asylum's behind him on the controller. Austin Dillon is a controller guy. As the green flag is going to come back out here. Ten cars, your leader for Stuart Haas. K. Rainey up there in the third or fourth row. Watch out for him as well. As they're going to enter off into turns one and two. Let's see if Austin Dillon can do it. I believe he's got older tires, but he's going to... Uh, no, he was clear him for a second, but he's not clear all the way. As they enter down the back straightaway, side by side. Under 10 laps to go, I believe. Off into turn three here. Shotgun's got him by a little bit right now. Oh, they're, they're bumpers, bumper cars back here right now. Shotgun's going to take the lead. I'll tell you what, if, if there's not a caution, Shotgun just won the race, I think. Because Shotgun in that lead is just going to break away. Thank you for the follow, Matthew. And now, Asylum's trying to pass Austin Dillon, but Asylum's going to pressure Shotgun big time, you know. These two have been in it a lot tonight. Watch out for him here. Is there three wide back here? Big contact, Fry Dog. Great job holding it in there, though. As Asylum's and Shotgun battling for the lead. Getting right down to the end of this thing. Caution's out. Shotgun's your leader, though. We're going to have about six or five laps to go here. Let's try to take a look in on Shotgun's camera and see what he's looking like right now. Late in this thing. No pressure, Shotgun. No pressure, Shotgun. Oh, man. I said no pressure to him now. Let's see what he can do here. Trying to get his first win of the season. Four-time winner last year. Trying to get his first one of the season and lock himself into the championship at Homestead, Miami. We'll see if he can do it. He's got Asylums up. Former Pro League driver on the inside or on the outside there, so it's going to be really tough. Trying to hold off one of those Pro League guys. We'll see if he can do it, though. A lot of talent over here. 16-year-old Ian A. Shotgun trying to get his fifth ever, fifth ever in a twin win. He's going to have the inside advantage as the green flag comes back out here. It's going to be five to go here from Gateway when they cross the finish line. Five laps to go at Gateway. You need shotgun holding that lead right now. And it's, you got 32 car of asylums on the outside. Loses it. You need shotgun's going to make the clear. Look at closing soon up there now. Closing soon up there for Richard Childress Racing. His teammate unfortunately lagged out tonight. Nervous Wreck was up there in the front row earlier. We'll see what he can do tonight. Or closing soon, what he can do in this finish. Austin Dillon trying to get back up there right now. Closing soon, trying to make the pass on Toasted in that 38 car. Filling in for Annihilator tonight. Fifth Constance going to make the pass. Duramax is falling back more. Uh, oh, wow. Frydog. Slow on the back straightaway. Frydog was really slow on the back straightaway. I don't know what that was about. Shotgun still your leader. So it's going to be a NASCAR overtime here. I'm going to look at that replay, see if I can see what happens. We just look at Frydog here. I don't know if the caution was already out. So right here. Uh, still green it looks like here. And we go over. Still green. And Frydog just. Frydog must have just got done wrecking. And caution was out. So here we go. This is it. I apologize if I didn't get to your guys' camera tonight. Like ribs. I didn't get to yours. Austin Dillon. Didn't get to yours. Deeds. Didn't get to yours. But uh, 
I, I, I didn't time it up well, I guess. There's like... It's big. This is big. Everybody decided to pit. Unless, no, nobody pitted. I take that back. Nobody pitted NASCAR overtime. Coming up here. Green flag back out. Two laps to go. If they can get to the white flag, this race will be official. Ian Yee, shock on your leader here. Asylum's on the outside. Asylum's trying to make the put, trying to get past them. Shotgun getting pushed by his old teammate. Closing soon as they're four wide behind. NASCAR fan gets up in the deeds. Contact fifth constant. Asylums has it right now as they're going to enter turns three and four. Last week was last week's race ended on a caution. Will it be different this week as they enter turns three and four? Coming out of turn four here, Kennedy gets the white flag. Car around in the back. They're not going to get the white flag. Caution's out. Let's check this out. Let's check out Shotgun again here. Wow, Shotgun, unbelievable reaction. It's over. It's over. That finished the race? Shotgun wins it. I really thought the caution was out. Shotgun wins the race tonight. So I don't know what just happened. I don't know. There's no way the caution came out that late. The same thing as last week. That's two weeks in a row that a track house guy won it off a of caution coming out late. Shotgun with the amazing victory tonight. Track house continues their dominance through week two. Another track house guy wins it tonight. Let's get our race winner Shotgun in the booth with us here in a second. Man, what just happened? For real, what just happened? Get Shotgun ready in the booth. Wait for shotgun really quick. I don't know what just happened really. Take a look back at that really quick while we wait for shotgun. Look at what just happened. So if you look here, look towards the back, you see the 37 car spinning out. Okay, I believe it's the 37. So you look right here. They still have to get to the front straight away. Right here, there he starts spinning out. One second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six seconds almost. I thought a caution would have came out. Caution never came out. And incredible season is past. Just like that, it was the end of the race. I don't know how a caution did not come out right there. Personally, I think a caution should have came out. Kind of the same thing as last week. Last week, Fry Dog won it when they called the caution. It could have been a little late last week. That one was definitely a late caution. We're gonna wait for Ian Shotgun to get in here. Controversial right there. I, I think that was definitely a caution. Definitely should have been a caution before he got to the white flag. We're going to wait for our winner, Ian A. Shotgun, to get in here. There he is. Well, Shotgun, you got a copy? Shotgun. I'm being, yeah, I'm gonna, I got you. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to need you to tell me what just happened on that final lap right there. I I don't know. Um, I, I still am speechless, honestly. Um, first and foremost... I apologize for getting into people. I know I threw closing in the fence coming out of two. So it's on me, like I said in the Discord. Um, but if there's anyone in this league that I'd want to be to prove to myself that I, I've got it, you know, it's uh, it's that 32 car. So, so it means a lot to be able to prove to myself that I'm capable. Although I kind of, like Fry did last week, I, you know, it ended under yellow. I don't know what the yellow is for, but it ended under yellow. But to be able to beat him and win regardless is, is amazing. I don't even know what to say. I think if the uh, caution didn't come out there, I think you still had a good shot at it. I mean, Asylums would have been there and would have had a move to make, but I think you still could have had it. Last week, if a caution didn't come out, I think Deeds had such a big run, he probably would have had it, but I don't know. Uh, but looking at the replay, I'm just going to say, you are very lucky, Shotgun. You want me to tell you why? That the oh, caution it was came it out. was so close. This caution came out so late because I counted there was five to six seconds from when he wrecked before you started across the start finish line, so they didn't call the caution for five to six seconds. And I believe it was was it Fry Dog that spun right there. Uh, beats me. 
Well, uh, that's two weeks in a row now that a track house driver has won the race. Uh, so having that dominance continue there at track house with the race winners, how does that feel to be the second track house winner this season and trying to keep a streak alive for track house? That uh, means a lot uh, on that last restart. I was, I was off all race. I don't know what it was. I was just mentally, I just wasn't where I needed to be. Um, I wasn't where I was these past few days. And, and on that last restart, you know, I was like, lock it in, you know, we got to get this streak extended, um, down the front straight, actually coming out of three on or four rather on the last lap. I, I thought that it was going to go, we were going to have to go all the way around and take the checkered. So I actually lifted to keep Casey or some of them on uh, my outside. So I had preferred line into, into one. So yeah, I, it's it's um it's it's great. Things are great at track absolutely. Yeah. Well that's two right that's two guys locked in the championship now. We'll see if Tenacious can get it next week. Uh BM, hopefully he'll be back next week. Uh I'm not sure. I think he, he should be back next week, right? Or is he off the Yeah, He should be back next week and he, he's a guy that I have a lot of confidence in. I believe in him. Um I believe that he can he could win here and uh I I, I know that he's got pace, so as as long as he can take care of what he had to take care of tonight be back next week locked in and ready for it we'll uh, we'll go get him in charlotte all right well shotgun you were one of the favorites tonight if there was betting odds you were one of the favorites in that as well but uh one of the favorites tonight come home with the win tonight congratulations and i uh, will see you back next week uh, i don't know where that race is it's bad on my should part be, i should know but i want to say it's the 600 in charlotte i think are we running the 600 again this year i think i'm pretty sure it's charlotte i don't know if it's full 600 but i know it's charlotte all right, well, I'm almost certain. If it was the full 600, that would be horrible. I'm not gonna lie. That imagine after imagine having to sit out there and run 600 miles. Yeah, you know I can't say that, that would be the the most fun, no. but you know I do it regardless. I'm committed. Yeah. All right. Well, good race tonight, and uh, good luck to you next weekend. And uh, we'll see if Trackhouse can keep that hot streak alive. I right, appreciate. it. Thanks, all fans, for tuning out here. It means a lot. Yes, sir. Like he said. We're going to get our second place finisher in here, Asylum, see what he thinks about what just happened, what just tuned out down there. Yep. Congrats to Ian. He's shocking on the win tonight. Man. The Delta that was entertaining said thank you. It was very entertaining race tonight. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, just so you know, that Delta... We usually do do giveaways, like diecast giveaways, but we don't have our new shipment in yet. So make sure you keep tuning in to check out the diecast giveaways we do in the future. Wasn't one tonight, but in the future there should be. And thank you also, Guns and Con, for tuning in tonight. It was a good it was a good drive, and it was an awesome race. Thank you. So we're just going to see if we can get Asylums in here in the booth with us. See if we can get Asylums up in the booth. And I'm also going to make sure that next week is the... Um, Hold on a second. <sighs> You're gonna make a game server and nice. Let's see here. Oh, shoot. I got the Discord. Okay. Asylum's in here. You got a copy of Asylum's? Yes, I do. Well, Asylum's, you were that close. You had to feel... You had to experience what it felt like to be Deeds last week a little bit. But uh, <laughs> you were that close to having a chance at this thing on the final lap. But the caution came out. Uh, did you know that there was wrecking going on behind you when you guys were about to take the white flag? Uh, no, but I kind of expected it was going to happen because, you know, the last few laps there, we had a couple cautions back to back. So I kind of felt like it was inevitable. So if I was going to win that race, it was going to have to be, you know, before the white flag, obviously. Well, uh, if you did get to take the final lap, uh, do you think you had a shot with shotgun? You think you had anything for him there on the final lap? Uh, 
I mean, it depends who really uh, who really would have got the run off the corner better. He was on the inside. I was going to be on the outside. Is this going to be who got a better exit off the corner? I think would have decided that. Well, uh, I mean, I said earlier, you had to experience a little bit of what it felt like to be Deeds last week. You didn't get the full experience, though, because, you know, Deeds has been trying to get a win and in to win it for the last two years. You almost got your first one tonight. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see you get your first one this year. Uh, I don't know if you know the exact schedule, but... What track on the schedule, if you do know it, are you most excited for this season? Uh, Charlotte. I like Charlotte. Charlotte's so the good one. Going yeah, next, next week, week, yeah. So, uh, good luck to you next week at Charlotte. We'll see if you got anything for these guys next week. I will say, last time we ran the Coke 600 in its it regular season, K. Rainey dominated that race. So, we'll see if you can, like, try to take that away from him this year. Or if somebody can. But we'll see if K. Rainey dominates again or if there's somebody else. But... Good luck next week at Charlotte, and a uh, good race tonight. So close to getting it done, but the caution came out. You got a little bit unlucky, honestly. The caution came out very late there. It was like five seconds after we wrecked that the caution came out. Mm. But a uh, good race <laughs> All tonight. Right. Oh. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so we're going to get our next person in here. Uh, who finished? Who should we get in here? Let me think. It's getting nervous wreck in here. Try to get our boy nervous in here. Oh, let me unmute him really quick. Nervous, you got a copy? What's up, man? Well, uh, you were up and down tonight. I mean, you, you were in the back at one point, you were in the front at one point, so. Uh, yeah. You got up there to the front of the pack. Uh, was your heart beating? How nervous were you when you got up there in the front? Not nervous at all. Uh, I'm very terrible at this track, and uh, it's a tough track. Well, I think everybody's pretty terrible at it, except for Shotgun. <laughs> but we're giggling our asses off in the party, having a good old time. It was fun. I'm glad it's over with, and on to next week. You know, fun race. You know, a lot well, of bumping and banging. Uh, for everybody out there, um, your brake is on the left, and on the <laughs> controllers, this yeah. this one's the you know this one's the brake, this one's the gas. If you're driving. This one's the gas. This one's the brake. It kind of helps a little bit, but uh, overall, it was funny. Had fun. <laughs> so. Well, uh, you um tonight. I don't know where you ended up finishing at, but I know your teammate Gridlock ended up getting lagged out. Do you know what happened? Like, did his internet shut off, or did his game crash, or what happened? I think the game. I think the net went out. We were talking and laughing, and all of a sudden, he blinked out of Discord, and uh, pretty soon the party went out. And uh, closing got third. I got twelfth. So we're just. You know, on the next week, we're looking forward to, I think it's Charlotte. So that's uh, yeah. something we've been more focused on. Uh, short tracks are hard for everybody. You know, oh, yeah. it's a tough, you know, gateway is just tough. It's not really made for cup cars, you know, yeah, so, but, but we're crazy. We're going to go crazy yeah. place. Uh, I like it. It was fun. Well, uh, so. I don't know if you know the, the schedule exactly fully for this season, but uh, what track would you say you're most excited for this season? Vegas. I think Vegas is on it. I, I like Vegas in real life, so I really like driving there too, uh, there's a couple things i got to hone in there, but uh, in real life, I really like Vegas. I like going there, so I'm excited for that because it was a great race. Uh, last season, actually, it was a really yeah. fun race. I, I think I might have even on the schedule. Yeah, I, I, I really like Vegas. That race. Yeah, yeah, so looking forward to that. All right, well, uh, good luck next week. Uh, good race tonight. You were at the front at one point. You were at the back at some point. So, overall, good race uh, tonight, and uh, good luck to you next week at, at the Charlotte, front. I believe. Oh, man, at the front, I'm just like, God, this ain't good. I shouldn't be up here. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious, well, dude. So. I mean, Rainey also had an up and down night. He was at the front, and then he was at the back, and then mid pack. Rainey was up and down as well because at the end of the race, he got wrecked. But <laughs> yeah, right. um, there was a point when uh, Ribs hit into me, and I'm thinking the caution's going to come out, and I'm sideways, and then AD hit into me, and it's actually saved the caution from coming out. But I believe we all got damaged, and that was uh, some yeah. of the hilarious, most funniest stuff I've ever seen in my life, and it was hilarious, you know. You're probably like, dang it, AD, you shouldn't have hit me. That caution could have came out. We needed that. Well, I, I felt bad because I know we all got damage off. It was just funny that he saved me, actually saved me by hitting into me. So yeah. it was hilarious, dude. Anyway, all, all right, right, man. Good race tonight, and we'll see you next weekend at Charlotte. Yep, later. See ya. All right, guys, we got to get um, – what should we get in here? Let's get – K Rainey. Let's get K Rainey.
We're gonna need Dirty Deeds, and that'll be the last interview, but. Peep the Padres, guys. Got the Padres 4th of July hat in today, finally. Excited about that. Alright, so. I do want to say, now that, uh, now that there are probably more drivers in here post-race, I do apologize if I didn't get to get to your driver camera tonight. Uh, I guess I did a bad time of calculating when to do the driver cams, and I still had a lot to do in the final 50 laps, and at the end of the race, it got really close, and so I didn't get the uh, driver cameras all in tonight, but uh, so sorry if I didn't get your driver camera tonight, but it's all good. It's all good. Thank you guys for still putting them on. See if we can get Rainy in here. If not, we'll get Deeds in here. I don't know if Rainy's active right now. He is active. Rainy should be getting in here. We'll see. He is, like, active. I think. All right, waiting for K Rainy, waiting for Craney right now. Waiting for good old Craney. If he's not gonna get in, we'll get Dirty Deeds in. Thank you for tuning in, Duramax. We did get to your camera tonight, Duramax. Don't worry, I got your camera pretty early in the race, I think. I got a good amount of guys. All right, so Deeds, I guess, get in the booth since Rainy's not getting in here. Man, we're waiting for someone to get in the booth. I don't know. Deeds, Rainy. You're doing your best out of the lane in my race. Hey, it's a tough track for a lot of people there, Max. Deeds, got a copy? Copy, copy. Where'd you end up finishing at tonight? I don't even know. I never know. Ten. Ten, so not not very good night for Stuart Haas. And needed a, well, they didn't need a good night, but we're, was running second in the points after tonight's <clears throat> race. You know, Rainy ended up getting wrecked and got AD involved in that. Uh, do you think you guys got uh, worse than points tonight? You think you guys fell back from second? Oh, no. Uh... I was in fourth on that final restart, but I think everybody had used all their brakes up there. Uh, so I, I got mowed down, and then. Uh, but as far as the points go, um, I think we just did the math. Trackhouse got 26, and Gibbs got 27 or 17, something like that. So. Had a good week. We gained eight on them, I think. So eight or nine, we gained eight or nine on them. You but hey, you know what? Stuart Haas, was, my bad. I was going to say. Old habits, right? Old habits. Yeah, true. Yeah, Stuart Haas. Uh, we had a good run there. Um, I was just cruising around for most of that race. Uh, eighth, ninth, tenth place. And then uh, we're just cruising until we got there at the end. And if it wasn't for that last restart, I mean, I would have finished fourth. Rainy probably would have been up there. Rainy had something for him out front based on uh, the way them strategies were going. and uh, 
I quickly realized tonight that this is my worst track on the game, I would say. Uh, I figure most people probably feel the same way. Worst I know Shotgun's pretty good here. I know Rainy's good here. I know Fifth is good here. But, Asylums. Uh, Asylums is good here, yep. So, But, hey, you know what? Like, If you look at the top ten of that thing, I mean, basically the top seven was under a blanket all night long. Everybody raced each other pretty clean. Uh, Eleven car tried to use his chrome horn a few times there on some folks and uh i wound up watching him do a he looked like he was headed to the moon when he went over top of me <laughs> i didn't get no damage in that by the way so well uh, actually i know one time getting onto pit road uh fifth constant caught a tough break from his teammate uh a nascar fan got on pit road the wrong way fifth constant got rear-ended him from it uh so fifth constant with an unfortunate break there i don't know if they had anything to, I don't know if that affected his car at all, but it was going on to a green flag stop. But at the end of the race, you know, that's two weeks in a row now that a track house car has won off a of caution on the final lap. Did you, uh, Did I don't know if you've seen the replay, did you see, like, how the car spun and they didn't call a caution until five or six seconds later? Yeah, it reminded me of Kentucky last season. Do you think they should have called the caution right there? I mean, hey, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes these NASCAR officials, they, they like to... Wait and see if uh, they need the safety safari oh, out there. I, I know suppose, why. You know, you know um, usually we say ribs is the fan favorite, but I mean, Shockham was your right. Leader, so they had to wait till he got the white flag there. Right, you had to wait till Shotty was out in the front there. So now, uh, just a little uh, note to everybody. So the 11 there, where well, not the 11, but the 19, the way he hit pit road, that's a that's not nah, that's a no no. So he's disqualified. Uh, that's going to move everybody up a place in the points there, except shotgun. You don't get a zero. You still get a one. Everybody sir. that was in front of NASCAR fan does not get moved up in points. Right. Everybody that was in front of him, I don't know where he finished, but, but you still yeah, I don't know what, I don't know why he would, uh, pit like that, but you know what? I mean, ribs brought him in there with, uh, with no time on the clock. Cause think... apparently their, apparently their teammate was doing dishes and, uh, couldn't make it to his Who Xbox. Was their teammate? I can't even remember. Dark Abyss. Yeah. So uh, well, I think I feel like the thing about NASCAR fan, he uh, probably first of all didn't know he's still really young. Is he younger than me? Or is he? All right, yeah. Me? Well, he probably didn't yeah. know that you're supposed to use the uh, the road because you know he wasn't. He's just backup driver. Uh, if he would have been in the drivers' meeting, but, then uh, we would have known. Then he's supposed well, to be there anyway as a team. Well, um, let's. I think. The thing is, you know, when we saw his first Saturday night shootout race at Atlanta, he was trying to hit pit road late to do what everybody else was doing. I don't know if that, that might have been what tried to happen here. He might have tried to see what everybody else was doing and then, then it yeah, I don't know. Thing, you have to check. Yeah, out. I don't know, but I don't know. I mean, it was that's on ribs and fifth. Uh, that's on those two guys. I told him, you know, do whatever you think's right. And hey, he ran a pretty good race tonight. He really did. Uh, but that pit road thing, I mean. And granted, to use, I think, Fifth Constant will see now that that cost him by him hitting pit road wrong, you know, so can't be doing that. Not only that, but, I mean, you know how much time that you gain yeah. by hitting pit road like that, so, and I don't know how he came off, but uh, I'll be I'll be checking some streams here in a little bit, but I don't know, man. Uh, there is nowhere where you go through the grass to get on pit road. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he missed the exit, the, no, the he, exit. He, he, he was not really like late. He, he came, yeah, in, he, he came in off a of turn four. Right, so, yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, he had a good run, but, yeah, that that, that ain't that ain't happening, so. All right, well, but, I mean, at the same time, his team, you know, they needed to let him know access road on, access road off, you know, because he wasn't in the driver's meeting. Yeah. But at the same time as that, if you're in here, you should be in the Discord. You'll see all the rules. You'll, you'll know you should be in Discord. Uh drivers meetings and all that good stuff we do that for a reason we don't do that because it's hip and cool if you will we do that because we want you to know what's going on and so you don't have to suffer these penalties so well uh, i think it's like a maybe a learning moment for him we'll see but uh we'll see what happens but uh good race tonight and uh good luck to you next week at charlotte it's going to be a longer race probably 300 miles i believe so i promise you this a Stuart Haas car will win next week at Charlotte. I know last time K. Rainey dominated almost every lap, and I made a little meme about it, but we'll see what I happens. I see you're wearing that baseball week. hat. We're going to go ahead and call our shot. Yeah. You think so? All right. Well, yeah. 
We'll see. Um, good luck next week at Charlotte. Maybe we'll see another rainy dominance. Maybe we'll see a Deeds win. I mean, you found yourself up there late tonight and then ended up falling towards the back again. But uh, we'll see what happens next week. I honestly, that track is not good for me. Um, I, I, it was straight strategy to get up there into the top five. I was completely content with that. Uh, but like I say, I mean, I, I finished 10th. I wanted a top 10 coming in. So, well, ninth, I guess it will be. So, uh, that, that's a victory. And not only that, but I actually, I, most people may not know that I actually won the race because I finished in front of the three car. Let's go. <laughs> I, I was actually talking earlier about how you guys were battling each other and gridlock got the best of you at one point and, be, and passed you, but then lagged out there, uh, it was yeah, the old guy, cup, so. the old guy cup championship points swings my way this t- t- today. <laughs> All right, well, uh, good race tonight and uh, good luck next weekend at Charlotte. All right, Code Rain, appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we are. I think that's gonna do it for interviews, but I think we're gonna do it for interviews there. Me and Deeds, we still need to finish our baseball series. 2-2 right now. We got a baseball series to finish. I would not put all the blame on yourself there, Ribs. So let's check out the highlights of tonight. My web, where my, where my webcam go now? Come on, chat. I oh wait, I don't know where it's at. There it is. There's my webcam. All right, guys. So, uh, go over highlights really quick. Hey, Deeds, if you're out there in the chat, when's that baseball series getting finished? Dang it, I missed. All right, let's take a look at the highlights tonight, though. Starting off here. Rainy and Shotgun. Side by side early in the race. I actually started out top two. That's where Shotgun got in the wall in like the third or fourth third lap I believe right there he actually ended up coming back to win the race but then we got gridlock yeah I know you only need to win two more but I also only need to win two more so might be a game seven for the second year in a row and then right here we're riding along with gridlock oh him and deeds going at it he barely he had to hit the brakes right there to not get in the deeds slammed on the brakes good move there so we had to clip that show some recognition to the the throttle work the brake movement then we got Fifth constant here. Here's where NASCAR fan just cuts through to get on the pit road. Bam. And bam. Fifth constant gets damaged from it. Unfortunate right there. And I just showed the same highlight, I think. Is this the same highlight again? It better not be. Then after that, we got... Uh, what was this? Rainy, really slow. I don't know what this is. It wasn't really slow. Don't. Oh, I think that's where we, we thought we saw ribs up there spin, but I'm not sure. All right, I wasn't sure if I saw if it was ribs that spun. Saw so I pinned my mirror. I was wondering what was up with that. Yeah. And then right here, bam. Rainy gets the wall. I don't know if the 19 car got into his nose or if he just got tight. It was tough to see. It was really tough to see with how the angle was. I almost hit you, Al. And bam, big wreck there. It was late in the race. That's what got Rainy. Made Rainy fall towards the back and pretty much eliminated a shot at winning this thing. And Asylums and Fifth Constant going at it. They make contact and Fifth Constant goes around. Actually collected some other cars as well. Clip and soon got a little bit of that, it looked like. And after that. Looking at Nervous Wreck, who got up there towards the front. Nervous Wreck, and then we look over at 
NASCAR fan in a shotgun. I don't know what this highlight is. Oh, Gavin and fifth constant getting into it. It looks like both went around right there. Then after that, we got Austin Dillon. Looking at Austin Dillon. And then Fry Dog was around, I think. And the final highlight, the one that's going to cause a little bit of controversy. Okay, watch. I want you to watch in the back. Watch the car that spun around. And I'm going to count the seconds. Okay, you ready? Watch him in the back. We look. He's going to start spinning up here. You ready when he spins, okay? So right there. Right there. He's going to go around one, two, three, four, five. About five seconds, and no caution came out until they crossed the start finish line. Let's look at that in a slower motion just because. So let's watch it. Like, how close was that? I, I wish we would have got more of the clip to see when the caution really did come out, but we didn't, unfortunately. So we can't exactly see how close it really was, but I want to know what got the car spun around. I don't know if he just got on the apron or if he uh, got pushed by the car behind him, which might have been Austin Dillon. I'm not sure. I think that was Friday that spun around, though. And no caution, no caution. I would have thought the caution came out. I literally said there's a caution because it should have came out. Never came out. And I think right there, whenever we stopped the clip, it came out. Right there, you can see the cars turn to the right a little bit. I think that is when the caution came out. But uh, overall, good race tonight. Uh, fun, fun race tonight. We go to Charlotte next week. Let's take a look at the schedule really quick if we can. Let's try to look at the schedule really quick. Let's cover up the webcam and tip jar really quick. We got next week Charlotte. Then we go to Phoenix. Then Las Vegas. So they did put Vegas back on the schedule. Let's go. We go to the Indy Oval. Not the Oval. The Oval. Over to Michigan after that. Then to Kansas. And then we go to the Martinsville Night Race. It's going to be interesting. Then we go to Daytona for the Coke 400 100% race. It's going to be a long race. Then we go to Kentucky and then Iowa. And the championship is Homestead. So the final race before the championship. So the points championship race, final race, or the team points championship final race is Iowa. So that is the races left. So thank you to everybody who tuned in tonight. You can see the caution lights at Gateway. I'm going to check that. For real? Like, I don't know if you can. You can in spectate mode. You can see the caution lights. That's cool. I'm checking this. So you can't see them turn yellow yet. I'm going to try to find another clip where there's caution lights. I want to see that. See if this clip's got caution lights. Bam. Oh, uh, you can't see it on this clip. Yeah, it was still green there. Let's check this clip. See what this clip's about. I know. So I don't think we're going to get them. Right there, still green. I didn't see them change there either. They were green the whole time. Right here, I don't know what this clip is. Oh, it's Fry Dog. And... Caution came out, the lights were still green, so must be different on the spectating mode. But uh, overall, fun race tonight. Make sure you guys tune in next week and Saturday night and Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time for the Saturday night shootout race and then the Sunday night race at Charlotte. And throughout the week, tune in to N20 Game Productions channel if they do stream. On Mondays, it would be 10 p.m. Eastern time if they did. Friday nights would be 10 p.m. Eastern time if they did. Then Thursday, Wednesday, and Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time for the Throttle Series, I believe. So check out whoever's streaming for that. But thank you to everybody for tuning in tonight. Congratulations to Annie Shaka for winning the race tonight. And 
I forgot to change the booth tonight, guys. I apologize. Uh, hopefully, we're going to do booth for next week. And I will see you guys next weekend. Make sure you tune in.